Hi, it's Pebbles. I'm back with another channeled celebrity video. This soul, this person, this musician, this creator, this singer, actor <clears throat> needs no introduction. So at last, the purple one has landed. He is here. He's in a great mood. He is Prince. We're going to get into the video now. He's got things that he wants to say, that he wants to talk about. Um, I'm not going to tell you the exact topics because, or what all is it, because I've got a feeling that he's just going to leave me wherever it is that he wants to go because His Royal Highness does things his way. Um, I've been treated to each time that he's came in, because he's came in quite a few times now, to a medley of visuals, concerts, songs. He's had me looking up lyrics before today. He's had me listening to certain songs, sitting back and listening to them. So um, he's came in tonight to do the video. I've been trying to get this video done for like a couple of weeks and just really like to wait until I'm feeling it and feeling up to it, feeling enough energy to do it. Um, you know, you've just got to focus. Sometimes it can be as beautiful as it is. It can, you know, sometimes take a lot out of you. And so I really want to be ready and up for doing the video. And I really didn't think I was going to even get it done tonight, even though I've been trying to. And then um, I'm like, okay, Prince, you know, Somebody would have said to me way before, you know, it's time to do a Prince video. I thought I'd have jumped at the chance, done it straight off, but it just hasn't happened that way. And I, I trust time. And but tonight, he swooped in, and again, he came in as um, Purple Rain and showed me in particular the scene in Purple Rain where, you know, he's just after his dad shot himself and he ends up in the hospital. And. You know, Prince just has to still go out there and, and, and do a performance that, um, <clears throat> you know, draws in the crowd so that he keeps his job at the club and, you know, all that kind of thing. So he just came in, yeah, playing Purple Rain and, and in particular showing me that scene in the movie. And I was like, okay, time to get this done. You want it done tonight? And all of a sudden I felt like, yeah, I need to get this done. And... I really felt moved for it. So I just love how Spirit come in and just show you and say, you know, come on, this is the time, chop, chop. That's exactly what he's done. So we're going to get into the video because he's here. He's looking beautiful. He's looking purple rainy. You know, he's, he's got his white ruffly shirt on. He's got his hair exactly the same. He came in on his motorbike. So he's done that quite a few times where he likes coming in on the motorbike and give me the sound effect of the roar of the motorbike and skid it across the road like he's about to knock his arm so he's really a fan of yeah, the visuals and, and, and coming in as, as different looks explained to me before that yeah he likes to just um interchange everything he just loves how he can just have a spectrum of different looks because he doesn't have to um you know do any costume changes he doesn't have to go and wait he doesn't have to have makeup done he doesn't have to have his hair done all of that is just ping it's just all done um yeah he can just come in as, as many different looks as he likes he does like to kind of swap them around a little bit but he does always come in that he has to meet as the paper rain area so um <clears throat> that's one of my favorites as it is with many others so yeah let's get into the video and let's um, see what he's got to say. I know um, he wants to start off by saying some thank yous, <clears throat> so we're going to get into that. <clears throat> so, the thank yous that he wants to give is um, he wants to thank the fans and um, the people who supported him and um, stood by him, his close friends, and his family and life. Um, yeah, he wants to um, relay the fact that he's very very grateful very very thankful yeah for all the people who have purchased stuff whether it be movies um, merchandise concert tickets downloaded um accessed his art and music as he calls it his creative expression he wants to address those who are perhaps worried about 
his content being made available against his wishes and he just wants to relay that it does not matter to him um, what platform you access the music as long as you do because that is what he initially made the music for so it is to inspire it is to encourage it is to um give others a platform to create or express themselves so whether his music has got you through challenges whether it lifted you whether it's your special song um <clears throat> that's the most important thing that that is achieved rather than who's put out there and where it's come from because um yeah that that's not something that um bothers him at this point in time um and the space and setting that he's in he's left that behind so the fact that people um are accessing his music handing it down generations as well so anyone who's like listened to his music that shared it with children and um, whether they're grown now or whether the children will hand it down generation to generation so yeah sharing the music and um, playing it for others and and yeah sharing the content that perhaps others haven't listened to or if they're hearing it for the first time that's his main wishes that he, he, he wants he wants the music heard that he put a lot of effort into the music he put a lot of creation into the music there's a lot of messages in the music there's a lot of vibration to the music so that's that, that that's what he wants to say yeah he wants he wants that to be utilized and that's the most important thing it's not where it comes from it's where it travels to he's saying so yeah he wants to give a lot of thanks um, he remembers all what people have done for him um, done to him those who you know stood by him those who were kind to him but um, regardless he just wants to he's just thankful for the lessons and the experience that he um, enjoyed or enjoyed both on air he's saying so um but yeah he has a lot he has a lot of great memories um a lot of um ties still um but yeah he enjoyed obviously he enjoyed making a lot of the stuff that's out there so he definitely wants that to continue on um lyrics wise and he will be bringing more of his music through whether that be on a new platform he'll be pushing for that or whether that be through channel of somebody else so somebody else maybe bringing out stuff but it will be through him and um, channeling through them that their creative expression will be um, capitalized on yeah through him so yeah it seems like somebody who's gonna write music create music come up with music they will be influenced by the man himself so okay that covers that so what else what is what else is it that we are going to be treated to tonight by your topic what are we gonna talk about tonight okay so okay yes yeah, so he's telling me he wants to talk about yeah he definitely wants to talk about race gender sexual content <laughs> that's what he's saying so let's see where he goes with this 
okay well he wants to talk about race first so regarding race I would like to say um I'm gonna relate how he's how he's saying okay so I would like to say that regardless of race and gender we should all come together um, unity is saying and stand as one because there is an agenda to divide and separate so therefore it's important that we each accept one another um, stand together unite he's saying um, regardless because those differences at the end of the day and not what we should be allowing to divide us. We should be allowing those differences to unite us. Um, and rather than have um, others with a hidden agenda dictate to us how we see each other, which is how it all started, um, we should realize that we are all spiritual beings. And in actual fact, we are not different just because our appearances makes us so what makes the human race beautiful is the differences imagine if we were all the same how boring would that be um so the fact that we have differences that should be celebrated rather than um it being something that um is there to be discriminated against so um yeah it shouldn't be something that we mm, yeah he's, again he's saying uh, allow to divide us to, to divide us um those beautiful differences in us all um whether that be um and he's talking about um love as well whether you know people um, couples unite whether it be heterosexual couples homosexual couples um yeah he's talking about you know transgender people um whatever it may be and whoever you feel that you want to be or wish to be um, at this this is an important time um for you to express yourself um regardless of whether it's um going to be widely accepted or not and what he's talking about is that yeah there's um there is things that's going to be coming up whether people are all seeing it now but some of us are where um there's not there's not going to be room to identify as being um, male or female a lot of those things are coming in now um, so what he wants to express is that um, you are allowed to hold on to whatever you feel you want to identify yourself as so he's saying yeah, don't let let don't let go of those be proud to be a woman be proud to be a man be proud to be yourself um, yeah whatever you want to identify as so yeah um there's no harm in um being able to express that you're either male or female um that's the way it was meant to be that's how it should continue to be um in the spirit realm they are like beings and um figures who have no gender um but there are also many who do so in spirit there isn't um there's no agenda agenda to get rid of people identifying as a certain gender so as male or female whatever people in spirit are still um regard themselves as male and female so um the natural 
way is, is is to still do that and he's just encouraging people to hold on to that and if this message doesn't um resonate with you because you're not seeing that yet then you soon you soon will see that so he's just asking you to be mindful of that to be aware of that and to um yeah be proud be proud of who you are but what you know whatever that may be whatever you want to identify as yourself but he's talking about keeping keeping those the recognition of, of what it is that you want to be don't be forced into um conditioned thinking that's going to be coming into play that you can't identify as one as the other basically so yeah Um, and he's used the word um, control so yeah there's there's a lot of that and um prince um you know i mean prince okay i can say it my way you know what i'm thinking prince you you, you you've explained how you how you how you are how you was in, in your words because i was going to talk about how you are still are um but also when you're here on the earth plane you know that you used a lot of masculinity but of course femininity as well you wasn't afraid to be who you were express yourself how you wanted to you know you wore makeup you had like a really or you have like a you really well yeah when you were here you had a really kind of like unique unusual stature you know body you were like really tiny in height tiny tiny gorgeous little waist um but yeah you were just unique in how you how, how you were how you looked um but yeah you 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 managed to balance both feminine feminine and masculine qualities so i was just gonna say that so uh, you know what's your what's your take on that He's saying that he wasn't afraid to be who he was. He was perfectly put together, he's saying. Um, and he's showing me like a, a Barbie doll, like, yeah, like a Barbie doll with the legs and the hand, the, the legs and the arms and the pieces slotted in together. Um, so yeah, he was saying that he was, he was like, yeah, it was all seemed like different pieces of the puzzle. So it was like part of him here, part of him there. Part of him from um Okay, he's 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 trying to give me an analogy with this. He's going somewhere with it. he's trying to show me something. So just give me a sec. So Okay, so he's Mm, okay so what he's showed me is yeah so he's getting like a barbie doll and he's getting the pieces off like the legs and the arms of that and then he's getting like um so like a cindy which was for some who may not know it was like a barbie doll but it was more earlier in, in the 70s so he's yeah he's basically showing me like a cindy doll a barbie doll so taking the legs and the arms off the barbie doll and then he showed me the Cindy doll and then the Malibu Barbie and the different type of Barbie. So it's like all the pieces of the different Barbies are slotted together. So instead of just one, it's like there's, there's different pieces and that's what made him unique because it was different pieces of different, different variations of the Barbie, let's say, put together and slotted in together to make up how unique that he was. And I'm not really sure what that means but um um I'm just waiting to see what else, what else he shows me he was he was made that way he was made that way so his body wasn't exactly in proportion as to how it should be he was conditioned in a different way but also um put together in a different way he's saying because he wasn't typically yet um 
it wasn't typically um, like a man should be or would expect be expected to be in his height and his um, muscular build. Um, so yeah, he's somehow trying to explain. Biologically, he was made up different. Energetically, he was made up different. Um, and he was born different, he's saying. But he, he went out there and killed it anyway. He, <laughs> he, he gave kick-ass performances, that's what he's saying, he gave kick-ass performances. Um, he went out there and did his thing anyway, regardless of whether he was widely accepted or not, he went out there and did his thing and yet he caused controversy. But even though he was different, he, and admittedly, he, because we were talking about that before, yeah, he's touching on the fact that, yeah, he did take some styles from other people, but he made it his own. He, he, um, he created his own unique looks and expression, which he did. And, and, and that's what I said to him before, you know, I know maybe you took a few you know, looks from some other people, but I, I don't feel like anybody wore it like he did. So, so I think he's echoing that as well. He agrees with that because he's saying that, yeah, it was like he took it to the next level. So even though he may have took little samples and he's talking about um, style-wise, clothes-wise, clothes, clothes, clothes wise, not talking about anything else, that he took it and, 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 and made it his own and went, well, I was going to say one step further with it, but he's, he's like saying no, 10 steps further with it. So, but yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd agree with that. I'd have to agree with that. But yeah, he, um, he rocked it, he's saying. And, um, lyrical wise, he, Um, he, he couldn't be he couldn't be beaten he's saying so yeah just um he's not saying it in, a, in an arrogant way um but he's he, he, he's owning it and it, he's yeah but you see that's the thing you see People do tend to think, oh, well, you know, he's, he's, he's like, he's bigging himself up. So it, it's, it's an arrogant way. But I think what he's trying to get across is that it's not arrogance. We're all told it's like we're knocked down a peg or two. If you, if you, you know, it's like we're not allowed to express. I'm, I'm, I'm good at that. I'm proud of that. It's like, oh no, that's arrogance because you're saying it about yourself. But. He, yeah, he's saying I'm, 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 I'm trying to encourage people to be proud and to own what it is that they are, um, what it is they can achieve, whether that be, and he's saying, you know, stardom, or whether that be yeah, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't really matter what it is, he's talking about whether that be stardom. It doesn't mean that, you know, because yeah, there is this thing that like, oh, you know, you have to be, um, oh, be, get to that level of being rich and famous and, you know, writing songs or being an actor to be proud of what it is you're doing. But no, he's saying, you know, be proud and own it, no matter what you achieve, it, just whatever it is, if you're good in your craft and whether that be, yes, stardom, a performer, a creator, or, and he's showing me like, you know, let's just say somebody in a, in a butcher shop who, who um, can, knows how to sli um, sli perfectly slice a, a piece of meat. They're really good with a knife who, you know, can do something like that. So no matter what your craft is, whether, you, you know, whatever craft it is, if you can perfect that, then yeah, own that and, and, and be better and, and be the best that you can be at 
whatever it is even if it's you know it doesn't matter what it is even if it's it's, it's brushing the floor sweeping the floor waxing the floor polishing the floor be the best that you can be at that and own that and, and, and don't be afraid to say no I'm good at that I'm, I'm amazing at that so yeah I mean you know he, he's relaying that but yeah he he's he's not saying it in an arrogant way like you know but he's saying my lyrics spoke to people they encouraged people they uplifted people they gave people ideas so you know all of that a lot of meaning a lot of work thought creation um you know went into the lyrics so yeah i mean i think that's that's, that's really good really good analogies i think it's really good advice because yeah there is that whole thing it's like the self-care thing or you know selfish care for yourself it's arrogant if you you know think anything of yourself or you love yourself and we should all be learning to love ourselves a lot more and um, care for ourselves a lot more and when we do that it not only helps our relationships but you know we can also be there a lot more for others as well when we fill ourselves up too so um yeah he's um that's 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 really good what else, what else did, you, did you want to touch on okay so yeah he wants to touch interests to hear what he's got to say he wants to touch on the sexual content it's not going to be too steamy believe it or not i'm <laughs> being from prince and it was like <sighs> often you know be shocked but no i think he's gonna go down a road that's important for us to know right now it's more kind of stuff about what you know transpired now and what it is that we can over to you I'll let you do the sort of thing Okay, so he's saying that, you know, we each need to connect with each other more. Um, yeah, everybody's getting driven further and further apart. People are not taking the time to get to know each other. People are not encouraging one another. And he's using, the way he's saying it is relationships are going out, out of the window. Um, not so much people who are already together, although that's not a perfect scenario either in most cases. But he's saying that it's the coming together of people. Love's becoming harder to find. Um, yeah, now he's wanting to... Um, to talk about technology people are no longer yeah interacting the um people are just i mean yeah i, I, I see on the streets seen it today that you know people not even interacting people are interacting less and less with each other seen it today where people aren't even interacting with the children the children are walking five paces behind them and they're just staring into the phones into the screen um so he's wants to touch on that subject so um yeah technology has started to become it's interfering a lot with connection of humans um human touch human interaction is now being replaced um, so, and the idea is for, um, not just, um, the, the, the touch, but for humans themselves, um, to be replaced, hence the fact that there's lots of, um, humanoids being developed um 
so we're seeing a lot of that now um, again a lot of people don't see that or believe that but they're out there you can see them you can check for yourself um, so he wants to give the message for us all to um, keep the interaction with each other keep um, it's almost um, he's, he's just giving me the word division um, don't allow ourselves to be divided by opinions on these topics um, and again like some of the others who's come through he's urging to do the research to see the proof for yourself um, he's also saying that um, yeah connections are getting less and less and they'll eventually be lost if people don't start to wake up and take notice and um, yet yeah, be in charge of their own destiny and their ascension path um, because that's that's important that's important to pay attention to right now and um, that's one of the most important things to pay attention to right now um, And I'm going to say something else right now as well, what Prince is relaying to me. Um, and there's, I'm just going to say it, there's a lot of videos um, going around right now with um, particular, um, two people in particular. That the relationship hasn't um, been a good one, the relationship has been a toxic one. And um, so there's a court case going on about that right now, without mentioning any names. Um, I could mention the names, but I'm not going to mention the names. Um, but there's a lot of talk right now that this is what's needed. This is um, important to bring up um, masculine, um, divine, feminine energies and things like that. I'm going to go a little bit against what's being out there right now because I'm actually feeling... And I don't, I don't, I don't mean this is actually going on, but it seems to be like a lot of people are hypnotized right now. I don't mean literally. I mean, there's a lot of people that, regardless of certain people's actions, they're just kind of like um, quite starry-eyed and um, yeah, they're just kind of like without the outcome of. Um, the trial a trial taking place without even the outcome from the get-go one um person in particular was labeled the um guilty party and whether that is the case or not too many people are, are focused on this and really desperate for like the outcome that they want when really in particular it's it's for two people to work out for themselves and nobody else is really going to benefit from that um from the outcome and um the two are being pitted against each other so while there's a lot of people out there that are saying that this is needed and this is a really good thing i'm going to go a different way and say that um what's going on is the focus has been on this when the focus needs to be elsewhere it needs to be more on the ascension path um, and, and and where people are going on that um this televised trial is also causing a lot of negative energy um, directed at one person in particular when regardless of who's right or who's wrong or the um, abuser as such um, spirit is not sitting there um, casting the stone and um, so this person also still needs to be sent love regardless of um, what wounds and issues it's bringing up for a lot of people because I think a lot of people because of what they've been through themselves um, it is causing bringing up a lot of darkness and wounds for them but therefore that people are ex what's the word they are okay so they're transferring the, their own energetic wounds outwards and they're focused on this so if um people need to go within and 
um, start doing their own healing work rather than yeah putting their attention on something that's not really going to benefit them in their own lives because the two people involved it's their lives are like completely separate anyway and when this is all said and done they're going to go back to the normal lives and everybody else is is is, is going to be left but that time is going to be lost where they could have been focusing on their own path um, of ascension as well as the wounds because really that's what's needed to um, move us onwards and to um, heal the world in a sense and um, not as such because it's going to take a long time for everybody all to heal everything that's within them so if we wait for that you know we're gonna be waiting a very long time but right now the vibration needs to be kept really high people need to focus yeah people need to focus on the path um on the again the path that they wish to go down uh, which is going to affect their own ascension path rather than what's going on in other lives because the focus needs to be directed inwards right now. <clears throat> and as he's saying, the vibration needs to be kept high. The negative energy is just going to combat the positive energy. And right now we need more of the light if we're wanting to eradicate the dark. Whereas um, right now there's a lot of help and assistance coming from the light. And he's saying that, um, and it's, okay, let me just, let me just get this right. Okay, so. Yes, he's, 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 he's basically saying that it's like, it's like, you know, there's a lot of light that's coming from um, the spiritual realm right now to assist. And people are asking and saying, well, you know, where is that? We want the assistance, you know, where's the help? The help's coming and it's like people are just stomping all over it, like they're trying to put out a fire. And you don't want to be doing that. You want to come together. And he's like, show me like you know three people carrying like the lanterns the lanterns with the candles in so the light and you know hold them up together rather than the beams of light coming and pe people people yeah fan it's like fanning the flame so stomping on the light and, and putting it out because so many people are distracted right now there's enough distractions right now um and any extra way we're putting out the vibration of, of of hate and the focus is going in the wrong way and he's basically taking me to the war the beginning of the year the oscars fiasco and now this so it's like everybody's attention is being directed in the wrong way. Everybody should be looking over here and everybody's looking over there. So at the beginning of the year, everyone's looking over here and being divided. Some are for that country, some are for that country. We should all stand by this, we shouldn't stand by that. So everybody's getting looking over here, yeah. They should be looking over there. The second Oscars fiasco, as I mentioned, everybody's looking over here. You're not looking over there. Now there's this. Everybody's looking over here. Everybody's looking over here. From the underneath. Creeping up again. There's more going on over here. Nobody's looking over here. It's what's really going on. So. Your attention. Should be drawn away. Drawn away. From what's being presented right in front of you, what's being televised that's not essential right now to your well-being, because it isn't. 
It isn't. Bless everybody involved. Send love to everybody involved. Um, yeah, and he's using the um, the phrase, but keep your own counsel. Don't be cast. Don't be cast in the stone. So. Because again, still, the the overall energy of the situation is again it, it, it's still like a male and female being pitted against each other, and they're both tar at the end of the day they're both targets. So male and female are both being targeted. But it's like they're being pitted against each other at the minute. So it's like take one down. But they've already been taken down, as in females, anyway, a long time ago. Um, but ultimately, both genders are being taken down. Um, yeah, so that's what that, that's what it is that he wants to say on on that. Um, anything else? I think it, I think that's a, that's a really good point. It's what it's what I've been feeling anyway. I don't I don't understand I don't understand the obsession with the outcome. I don't understand the focus. There's so much focus on it all. You, you can't look anywhere without it, it being there in your face whether you want to see it or not. So I really don't feel that that's the most important thing right now. Sorry, I know many do, but I, I, I don't agree. Um, and um, yeah, and there's a child involved or children but with one particular party, there's a child involved, and that child's um, well, well, well-being and welfare should be first and foremost a priority. So, you know, if you think sending all hateful energy and bad mouthing online is is conducive to the situation, then think again. That and that's come that's come from from the man himself. But not me, and um, but I do, I do agree. Heavy, heavy stuff, Prince. <laughs> I know you're going to take me to any of this, but continue. Okay, so change of subject now. Something a little bit lighter. He's taken me to. I don't know he's taking me, but he's shown me the Graffiti Bridge album. So. Was it where's it you want to go with that? It's just he's saying the making of that was very special to me. <clears throat> I love that film, I remember watching it. <coughs> I I really enjoyed it as well because Yeah, I used to like the the the, the, lead, the lead woman that was in it. I had my hair cut the same as that and I wore a biker's jacket as well, just like that. So I was like, oh, it's like I'm in the movie. So yeah, I was a really big fan of that movie. Always been like a really big Prince fan as well. Attended his concert in 1991. Um, still got the ticket. And we, 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 oh, we dived, we dashed to the front. We bought like lots and lots of chocolates and sweets and drinks to have throughout the concert and we got to the field where it was. It was a football stadium, but it was outside. Through to the security. We showed them, no, we had to get searched and they looked and they were like, you can't take the drinks and sweets. And we were just like, keep them. And we just threw everything, even though we'd spent like so much money on all of the stuff. And we just ran and left everything behind and we ran. And then the cons, we were at the front and the con, it just, it just got like so bad where everyone was pushing. I mean, we just like got so nearly squashed. We honestly thought we were gonna die. And um, we had to like quickly move, we couldn't breathe. And we quickly got out of the pushing from the front. Um, 
and we had to end up being not at the back but a lot further away than we wanted to be but we still had like a really good view and I remember really just being like totally mesmerized and didn't really sing along because I was just like standing there being like oh my god it's Prince <laughs> I remember he was on stage and then at one point he he, he jumped down on the floor and I was like oh my god gosh how tiny is he you know it was just like but just still couldn't believe that we were standing there and he was right there so yeah it was just like amazing and that was kind of like the, the um yeah i think it's graffiti bitch stuff um yeah because he had what well, i can't remember the name right now but the lady who played the piano and sang um she was there at the concert with him anyway i'll, I'll come to it i can't, I can't remember can you tell me your name? Uh, oh, thank you. He's told me your name, Rosie Gaines. That's it. Yeah, she was the, she was there at the concert with him. So yeah, that's it. Thank you, thank you. I wasn't sure you were gonna tell me his name then. But um, so yeah. So sorry. Continue. I went off on one then. Graffiti bridge. Yes, yeah, so it was a special time. The actors involved, we all had a great time. We, a lot of us became particularly close. Um, um, you, you, you say there was a tragedy at that time, somebody passed away, which, which brought them closer. I think we remember hearing something about that, but I'm not, I'm not sure who it was. Um, I don't think it was somebody on the set of the movie though. Mm, something happened at that time. Okay. No, he's not saying what it is. But I hold special memories for them anyway, the movie. So, I had purple rain on before. No, it's actually so. <laughs> I had it off with my cat. <laughs> She's sitting there asleep. <laughs> so, put it on. So, yeah, that's actually playing. It's on mute, though. So, yeah, I was asking him about, you know, the film. Did he enjoy making the movie? He enjoyed it. He enjoyed making it. He... He got close to a lot of his co-stars. <laughs> um, yeah, we say about one in particular. He remained close with, although nothing happened in that respect. So, um, but yeah, he's keep he's keeping tight lip tight lipped on that one which is good that that's fair enough he's being respectful um that's what we like michael hutchins is the same he's very respectful he doesn't go into you know he doesn't divulge any information about what he did with his relationships which is really good he likes to protect people's privacy and you know that that's nice you've got to admire that um so yeah what else um, do you want to talk about um, what about the clothes? Can we, can we get to talk about your clothes for the movie, the style? <laughs> yeah, he's saying, um, okay, there were similarities between him and um, Mr. Rick James, but he's, he's just laughing and saying, who, who wore it better? Who wore it better? <laughs> Are you asking me or are you telling me? <laughs> Yeah, I said before that nobody wears it. Nobody wore it better than, than the Prince did, I don't think. I think when he walked in somewhere, you know, dressed in those clothes, which I think if most people wore them, you're like, what the hell are you wearing? He just owned it. Um, yeah, I do think that. So is there anything else that you want to um, talk about regarding your life or... Friends, film, movie, favourite things, or 
Come on, you're gonna answer some of the questions. Okay, he doesn't, you don't wanna answer any of the, of the questions like that. Okay, he's saying no. Um, well, let us know what it is. What it, do you want to tell us what it is that you're doing on the other side? Because that's always good to know. Oh, yeah. You, you... Okay, he's saying I divulged some, divulged some of that before when I said I was bringing my creative art through another vessel, he's saying. <laughs> another vessel. That's, that's the way he's saying it. So yeah, somebody else is gonna create beautiful music just like him. And he is going to be channeling that through somebody else. I think he's already done that though. Have you already been doing that or have you not done it yet? Yeah, he's saying yeah, it's already been done and it will continue to be done. So is there any clues to who that is or? Yes, he doesn't actually, he doesn't actually like show himself in the sense of like the others, the sort of sitting there and it's like, you know, I'm sitting having a conversation with them. He does come in and show himself a little bit like that, but not continuously. And he, he likes to, as he said before, just change. So one time he came through and I said to him, I knew he was there, but I was, was expecting him to show himself just a little bit more. And I said to you, I said to him, are you there? And he showed me the the gif of himself. Um, I think it's on the um, Arsenio Hall show interview. I think it's that. But anyway, he's got he's got a fro, and it's it's later on in, in his life, his more mature years, when he does that kind of like that gif. It's like no shakes his head with his eyes closed and he said that and then he kind of like laughed and he was like yeah I am and I was like I know, I know you're there so he tends to show clips sometimes to answer questions um because he likes to be mysterious like that um he's just shaking his head and laughing but yeah so now when I'm asking him about um about answering the questions he's showing me a clip I have seen it where he's got his hand up here and he's just like no um, I, can't, I can't think, I don't, it wasn't Larry King, but it was, um, yeah, I've either seen the clip where it's a gift, or somebody asks him a question and he's, and he's just like going, no. So when he's, I'm asking him no, he's, he's showing me that to answer no, rather than just saying no, or showing me no, or the word no, as he sometimes do as well. Um, so yeah, he likes to grab pieces of footage and answer questions in, in, in that way. Um, yeah, because now he's, he's showing me himself with like, um, maybe in around the, the, the graffiti, graffiti bridge days or a little after, but when he had his hair like in a longer pony as well, so it's kind of like swept back quite long. Um, and then a low, low ponytail sort of down here, so. Um, He's sort of he's sort of changing changing himself up a bit now, but he does usually come in with a white ruffled shirt on, and his black high waisted pants, and sometimes the the jacket the high the high the the padded high padded shoulders, um jacket, um. So yeah, he does he does seem to favour the paper rain look, um, which many many people do as well. Okay, so what else is it that you want to, the floor is yours, what else is it that you want to talk about? And are you going to be coming back? Is this just part one? Um, he's saying I'll be back if you have me back. Yeah, of course, if you want to come back and, and do another video. Okay, we're saying, but don't leave me hanging around so long as I might did. I have made him wait. I have made him wait to do this video. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But yeah, is there anything else that you want to you wanna talk about? I know you wanted to talk about 
those um, topics because a new prince was going to take us on a little journey of what it is that we need to do. He wasn't just going to come in and talk about himself. He doesn't. He likes to show a lot of himself as in clips and visuals of all what he did. And he likes to be um, surprised in his entrances and things. But um, yeah, see, he, he's, he's, he's making me hear the, the, the roar of the motorbike again. And it's like he's shooting off when he's on the bike with the with the circular shades. Um, and I'll tell you something else as well. He, he tends to stand by that river that Apollonia jumped in. He, he shows himself as that. And he's also... What, what was it you showed me last time? Just remind me what, what it is that, that you did. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah, that's another thing. He was... He knows what I was thinking because I was going to mention this and then I forgot. Um, on another occasion he came and he was making me listen to like um, certain songs and then he made me listen to Let's Go Crazy. Um, and I've got two versions on my phone and I was like, I'm going to play one and he was like, no, play that one. And then the one that I did play, I was playing it and I was like, why this one? And then I realised then it's actually the long version that's in the movie Purple Rain. So it's the one where there's all like the kind of like the piano bits in in the um you know playing for a long time at, at the beginning where it, you know it's him on stage and showing you what Apollonia is doing and it's showing you what um what a stage doing i think he's, he's cleaning his house or something like that and it's showing pieces of what everybody's doing um so it's that from the movie but then i heard the line from um yeah, but the elevator take us down and then I kind of got emotional and then he was just like you know it's okay and they just treated me to um lots of other different songs made me play like other songs of his um like this could be us as well that's like a real great track one I discovered later on and um yeah that's really brilliant I think that's definitely like on a par with um the beautiful ones I think it's like um a really good song like that and um, but of course there's, there's many 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 amazing hits that he did um so yeah but yeah he, he, he did he did sort of like come in and was like it was like he was playing the concert and all the, the different pieces and um yeah when he played um yeah, the beautiful ones where he says do you want me or do you want him and when that part comes up he actually pointed um yes yeah, so it was like definitely showing bits from the movie so yeah he still really like enjoys the visuals of what it is that he did and um yeah, although like um, for a lot of times in his life he got away, he, 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 you know, he came away from that style and, and ventured out into other styles and a lot of people kept saying, or you know, he complained because people were saying like, you know, why isn't the stuff like Purple Rain, everyone expected him to stay, stick with that kind of music and he wanted to change direction. Um, he still does play a lot from, from Purple Rain. Um, but other things as well. Um, little red Corvette and things like that, and early type stuff. Um, and Alphabet Street as well, yeah. I hadn't played that in a long time, and last week I, I watched the video to that quite a few times, and I was like, wow, I totally forgot about that. Um, so yeah, he still does like a lot of the, the film visuals. So, yeah, are we going to wrap it up? Have you got anything else to say? Okay, so he just, he wants to say, still look out for one another, still have affection for one another. Remember to explore each other. Um, go back to basics, he's saying, to, yeah, in regards to getting to know each other, go back to basics. Meet, date, um, <clears throat> he's giving me the word courtship 
nobody takes the time to to do that now and um, be a gentleman he's saying um for the men be a gentleman to the ladies let the men be a gentleman don't be so um i have to do everything myself i know a lot of people feel like that because they've had to do that but yeah he's just saying like to take that little bit of a step back and allow the man to lead to let him lead because sometimes when you do that you'll find that a man will feel he's allowed to do that rather than feeling like everything he does is gonna offend a lot of people nowadays are scared to overstep the mark or offend um, in doing something and by people feeling that they need to pull back on what they're doing it's spoiling the dating experience because yeah if people feel like oh i can't like some people get offended if say like someone opens the door for them like oh you know i can do it myself but he's saying don't be afraid to let people do nice things like that and then he's saying step it up a little bit and and and, and still treat a lady like a lady like a courtship and he's showing me that people like you know in in the days of kind of like what he dressed like the, the cinderella type days where the people have got like the big skirts and the underskirts and the ruffly shirts and the white wigs and you know things like that he's and, and people holding the hands out and getting a kiss and he's not suggesting that we all walk around you know like that with corsets on and 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 and, and you know our hair and wrinklets and things but you say and and go on you let me know that bit but yeah he's saying but don't be afraid to take your time and connect but get to know each other it's not about online yeah he's talking about in person he's saying the importance of, of doing it in person even if you meet online which a lot of people are doing that these days he's He's, 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 he's wanting you to discourage, yes, yeah, so we're saying, he's, he's saying, you know, don't be um, stuck on, you know, a lot of people's contact is going to be um, by FaceTime. Of course, if you're in other countries, he's not talking about that, but a lot of people are usually chatting over that or chatting over text message when he's saying no. Um, yeah, pick up the phone. And he's showing like an old a fashioned telephone as well. He's not showing a mobile phone, he's showing a you know, an old fashioned wired telephone. And he's saying do that, speak because and he's talking about the importance of obviously getting to know each other in, in that sense first because that's thinking about the safety element of yeah, not just meeting up with a stranger. But he's somewhat getting to know each other on a, on a personal connection um, and slowly building up a, a, a relationship, not just a quick fleeting fantasy of excitement, he's saying. Um, everybody's looking for love, everybody's wanting love, but nobody's... Um, Let me just listen to what he's saying. So what nobody's, nobody's wanting to put the effort in to cultivate the connection. Yeah, people just want, somebody else said this as well, but yeah, he's saying people just want like a, a fleeting, quick fix. And he's just using the word fantasy. Um, a fleeting relationship, but he's saying if you want to, if you want to nourish the connection, um, yeah, he's just saying if you want to nourish the connection, courtship. He keeps saying the word courtship. Go back to basics, do things the old fashioned way. Dinner, movies. up being together and sitting with, with one another. I mean, I'd even say, you know, not even a movie, like, you know, sit and have a, have a conversation. But I, I, see what, I, see what, I see what you're saying, yeah. He's talking about 
things like that nowadays that is getting even rarer anyway but um but he's he's talking about spending time together and also what he's saying as well is if things are closed I'm not sure I'm supposed to use the L word but when you thing that you do with a, a door <laughs> when you take the key to close it and we and the opposite of up so I'm not I'm not sure if I can use that phrase but when things are closed as in shops centers recreational things when they're closed because there may be more coming up i'm just asking about that okay so it's a possibility okay so when that happens you show me <laughs> you show me the lake the lake that wasn't Lake Monotonka, is it? Or whatever it was called. Anyway, so he's showing me the lake. So basically what he's saying, yeah, when things, again, maybe perhaps get closed down, nature, go for walks, go by the river, take a walk by the river. Um, yeah. Um, just my cat make his noise thing. Scratching my chin. So yeah, that's what he's saying. There's ways of getting around it. This is what Prince is saying. This is what Prince is telling you to do, people. Okay, when things are closed and you're getting to know each other, don't halt. That's the way to use and Don't halt the connection. Get out and about. Nourish the relationship. Go back to basics. Courtship. Um, stay united. That goes for everybody. And he's, he's saying all colours and he's showing the United Colours of Benetton advert. Um, so yeah, he's um, he's saying there's, 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 there's ways of getting around it. Um, so yeah, here, here did hear first, Prince is saying do not obey. <gasps> yeah, out and about. Keep the connection. Um, and I think that concludes my Prince Physio. And now I can finally say that the purple one has landed. He did indeed land. He has been here quite a few times. But tonight he has... Well, we've completed the video. He's landed. And now he's gonna be on his way back but well, hopefully we'll be back i'm sure he'll be back he's, he's, he's gonna come back yeah i'm gonna call him back he's gotta come back <sighs> but um is there anything that you want to say mr nelson before you head on home he's, he's, he's going like that he's saying thank you and let me just explain to people what it is that you're wearing right now. Okay, so now he's different. Now, yeah, he's got his hair. He's got his hair like really short and um, the, the way he did it. And I do know that he had his hair like this when he was married. That beautiful lady, my, my tie. That was her name, wasn't it? Okay, so yeah, he's got his hair like that and um, he's got like his purple, it's like a really glittery purple jack on, so that's what he looks like right now as he's leaving um, and he's putting his hands together um, and can I just tell people what else that you do on the other side? So, yeah, he still prays on the other side, he, pray, he prays on the other side. Um, last week he was just there and he just came in to my line of sight and he was praying and um, so does that still on the other side and i'm asking what, what, what he's praying for and he's um he's praying for peace and he's praying for mankind and humanity he's saying mother earth nature all beings creatures animals babies 
homilies. He's praying over, he's praying for famine and poverty. Um, for people in war tour and, and famine countries. And he's saying many of us on the other side stand in prayer for those and also do whatever we can to assist those. Um, there's so much we can do in spirit, he's saying, but it's done in a different way than what we would do it in the physical world. Um, in a sense, some things that we can assist with are better from the other side, he's saying. Is that, is that right? Um, yeah, he's saying better, if not more powerful. Um, but ultimately, as um, a species, um, we can each do more. We can all do more. We can all play our part, he's saying. Um, and what message, if anything, do you want to do you want to leave on for us all to take away? And is that your final words? So, yeah, the message that he wants to leave is stand together and unite as one. We all need to stand together and unite as one. Be as loving as possible to each other. Be accepting of each other. Be aware of what's going on and um, make sure we as a species continue on, he's saying. And when they say, when I say we are, I'm including everybody, creatures, nature, animals, the animal kingdom, he's saying, the beautiful animal kingdom, which, which we have many of those beautiful beings on the other side, all different kinds, all, yeah, he's laughing, he's saying all, all different races and you don't see them being prejudiced against each other. What a beautiful thought and a beautiful note to leave on that, you know, the way animals just get on like that, yeah, regardless of what they look like. It's a shame humans can't put that into practice too. So, regardless of race, gender, skin colour, mm, he's just saying be united and he's, he's talking about the Benetton on adverts again. We shouldn't have bent on our bits again. And now he's saying peace out. <laughs> and he's blowing the kissing. <laughs> peace out. <sighs> okay. Okay, you just hang fire. You just wait for me. <laughs> okay, so that concludes my Prince video. I'm sure Prince will be back again because I really liked what he shared tonight. And um, I'm with him all the way. And um, I think... He had some very nice words to share. I had no idea what he was. He did touch on what he was going to talk about, but we didn't discuss what we were going to go on about. So, um, you know what what he was saying was a surprise to me. So, um, I like bringing him through, and he's always um, a pleasure to spend time. And he's really polite and very nice. And he's funny. He's he's he's, he's jokey. He's happy, and he seems really well. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go and finish this video now. So and then I can see Prince off home to his beautiful place where he resides and um, hope you all enjoyed this video please remember to like comment share out the video and um, let me know what you think in the comments and um, until next time see you next time with the next one thank you for being here thank you for watching much gratitude to you all um, have a beautiful week ahead thank you and goodbye